Good morning, Zoo here, and today we're talking about the metaverse. Yeah. Anyway, grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and let's get into it, shall we? So, first things first, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Like the video, all that good stuff. Um, second, I apologize for being gone all last week. It got really, really busy. Didn't have time to do anything. And, um, well, this week, I'm not feeling at the top of my game. I guess I'm getting sick or something. Uh, so I do apologize for how I sound and look and all that good jazz. Mm. But I, I didn't want to go two weeks without anything, right? So I, I do apologize for disappearing like that. It's just my busy week rolled in from one week into another, and technically it's still going, except for I don't have a sitter to watch the kids, therefore I can't actually go to work until today. Uh, <laughs> well, sorry. Anyway. That said, I'm over on TikTok and Twitter. You should go check out both those. The links are somewhere down in the description down below. And today we're talking about the metaverse. Now, if you've heard the term the metaverse, congratulations, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, for those of you who do not, um, there's a book out there, Ready Player One. It's also a movie, and then there's Ready Player Two, which I think is the second book. Haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, but I did enjoy the book and the movie. Um, you know, and they, they have this thing in there called the Oasis, right? And they've got this uh, headgear, uh, virtual reality headgear and stuff like that. And it essentially puts you into the Oasis. And it's like this alternate reality that is very, very real, but also not at the same time. And you can get like all this other stuff to make it even more real, like, you know, different suits that touch things and, you know, you can touch and it puts the fill on you or whatnot. And then the thing that you can walk on. Uh, anyway, it's very complex, right? <laughs> complex and there's a lot to it. But Facebook, Facebook, believe it or not, is attempting to actually do the metaverse. Now, there have been claims from other people. Um, there's a thing out there called Earth 2. It's something I wanted to cover, but never actually got around to it. Uh, where they are claiming to make a metaverse of sorts, where essentially they've got Google Maps and they've put a grid on it and people are buying plots for thousands of dollars and selling plots for thousands of dollars among each other. Um, however, it's gotten to the point now that all the desirable stuff has been completely bought up, right? And... Uh, People can't sell anything now because nobody wants to buy a lot of this other stuff and things, right? And um, so the market seems to be crashing kind of over in that. Uh, so that is what that is. Anyway, they were claiming to make sort of this oasis kind of thing. They made direct comparisons and all this other stuff uh, to it where apparently the next phase is to put in all this stuff so you can actually build things. The problem is our technology isn't where it is to make this a reality, right? Uh, that's the biggest issue right now. In order for you to make a metaverse, our technology has to be in a position to make the metaverse, right? <laughs> and um, ours just isn't there. Now, as much as people in the VR scene want to sit there and tell me that it is the biggest thing since life spread and everybody is in on it, the truth of the matter it's not. It's very, very small, even though, um, you know, uh, Half-Life Alex, that's what it was, right, uh, came out and it pushed a ton of headsets out there, right? Um, it pushed them to where they were sold out into that. You know, VR is still a very niche, small industry compared to the rest of the industry uh, at whole. I'm sorry, I... Oh, I completely lost where I was. Anyway, so we'll, we'll make some quotes here, right? Make some quotes. We'll read some quotes here uh, from Victoria Petrock. That's such a weird last name. Anyway, um, an analyst uh, who follows emerging technologies. It is the next evolution of connectivity where we 
of all things start to come together in a seamless doppelganger universe. So you're living in a virtual life the same way you're living in the physical life, which is exactly where one is trying to go with this idea of the multiverse, right? And Zuckerberg is, of course, working on said multiverse, <laughs> which is an interesting thing. But of course, Facebook itself, uh, you know, the company uh, has warned that it would take anywhere from 10 to 15 years to develop responsible products for said multiverse whatever that means i assume it, it's not just about making the multiverse itself but making things to actually be on the multiverse that people can connect with um but of course 10 to 15 i would probably guess it's probably where we are in the ballpark of actually creating something like a multiverse because so we're talking about something that's probably going to require like quantum computing which um i don't think is an actual real thing yet or, or maybe it is in like a government facility or something i don't know uh, but it's not actually actually a thing just yet um but that's that's just me i could be wrong i just may not remember for whatever reason because uh like i said not i'm, I'm not the best today mm. but anyway they go into things like you know what would be what would all you would do in a multiverse right because this is um what is this this is the ap um ap news um yeah anyway and so they're explaining it for the normies out there who don't know what exactly <laughs> this is and that, that's what this whole article is about it's just pretty much an explanation on it the point is the point of this video is zuckerberg is working on a multiverse right or wants to work on a multiverse so he, he's actively hiring people in europe to work on this project right anyway so they talk about things like going to virtual co uh, concerts, trips online, uh, you know, buy tickets, uh, digital clothes, things like that, which is kind of a thing that we already do, right? If you look at Fortnite, you can see like in-game concerts, activities, things like that that they do, um, where they like to then, you know, remove all the emotes because they, they think people, anyway, point is, uh, <laughs> Point is, we, we kind of already do a lot of that, uh, you know, digital clothing, skins, right? We, we purchase skins and all this other stuff. We're just not physically there looking through the eyes of the avatar. Uh, that is like kind of the one thing we're missing is like the senses and the ability to actually look through the eyes of the avatar, um, which, you know, once that is down and, uh, you know, virtual reality is something that, you know, people pick up like cell phones or something, um, you know, until that is the thing, it, it's not there yet. <laughs> and of course, the other concern down here at the very, 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 very bottom of this entire article uh, essentially is, will this be another way to get more of our data or, or my data, whatever, um, which is a valid thing to ask, right? Is this another way for Facebook to gain your data? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, as it is, Facebook knows everything about you. They've already got a profile for you, whether you use it or not. There are shadow profiles. Uh, the reason we, of course, know that is because there was a glitch in the matrix where suddenly they were visible for a short while before somebody swapped it off, right? And fixed that. So we knew that they exist, but Facebook can pretty much calculate the time that you go to the restroom, whenever it is that you go to the restroom because of you know, the amount of access it has to you through this thing right here, right? Uh, you know, it's got your location. It knows that you've gotten up and moved to another room in your house. It knows where you work, knows where you live. Uh, you know, it knows a lot about you. It knows your habits. It knows your taste. It knows your porn, right? Uh, you know, your, your favorite porn things to look at, I guess is the best way to put it. It knows if you like hentai or not. But, uh, you know, aside from that, Facebook knows a lot about you. Them getting more of your data, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know what more they could get from you other than biometrics at this point. Uh, you know, your DNA and all this other stuff. But uh, yeah, that is what that is at this point. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, I guess question for all this. If there was a metaverse, right? If it came out today. Would you join it? Uh, would you hop in there and play? Or would you try to remain out of it for as long as you could? Let me know down below and I will talk to you later. See ya.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.